What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds and welcome to part 2 of the April edition of the server update tour. Last time I showed you what was happening in Whiteburg with a few exceptions where we went over to Europa. This time it's going to be solely based in Kalmar and Europa. So let's start off with a lovely church that Rusty has built over near Stenvik. Oh wow. That's kind of what you expect to see when someone says they're building a Norwegian style town. One of these lovely Norse temples. So this is the Borgenstav church located as we can see on the map here just outside of Stenvik which we'll get to in a second. But let's go on inside this place and see what's happening in here. Rusty says there's something weird going on inside but still the landscaping around here is on point. The building itself is gorgeous. You've done it properly, like the single sort of colour of the of the actual materials for it is how you envision these, especially when you see pictures of them. And I believe this one was built around about 1200, so it's been sitting here for the best part of 800 years. So let's go on inside here and see what's up. I'm going to bring myself a little torch out as well just so we can uh, see what's going on. Look up there. Look up, look round, look all around. Oh no, that's not breaking the song. Got these little windows going out here. Uh, we've got some doors. I'm not sure what's behind these doors. So out here is oh, the outside. What's through this one? Let's have a look. Uh, again, the outside. Okay, so there's something. Ah, okay, so this must be the shrine to whatever god they have. Um, That's some blood around there. Ooh, is that, is that pineapple? Oh wait, there's there's more down here. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this place, but oh, okay, yeah, someone's someone's invoked the pineapple god, who has now come down here and um sacrificed stuff. I don't know if you guys are aware, but, but the lore of our server is that there's a couple of gods in in play. We have the pineapple god, which is mainly worshipped inside Whiteburg, and then you have the blood god and the gherkin gods, which are sort of worldwide gods. Yes, we worship food gods, but not like proper food. Also, blood's not a food. I, yeah, that sort of side of the lore is very mythological, so yeah, take that with a pinch of salt, if you will. But let's fly on down here. Oh, hello. This looks like a scotch pine, scotch, scots pine to me. That's really nice. I think Hockey built that one. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So as we're going to fly into here, into Stenvik Harbour, you can see this lovely small little clipper here. Ooh, that's really quite tasty. I wonder if that's come from the Netherlands. Mm, probably not. But we come to the main little harbour. So last time we had these buildings here, these townhouses with some sort of rigging and docks going on around the bottom here. But what Rusty's built is the rest of this little area around here. Now we have the St Mary's Church over in the front of us there. And it's got that proper sort of medieval romantic sort of style about it. You've got the really rough brick, uh, sort of rough stone bricks and bricks in there. And then you have this nice rendered sections for the tower. And you've got these coins on the side. Ah, oh, this is really gorgeous. And then you've got the big heavy roofs with, oh, what's this up here? Ah, yes, some debugged walls as well with some <laughs> world edited buttons onto them to give you that nice little spikiness. Uh, Rusty, your town is coming really, really together and I can't wait to see where you take the rest of it. Oh, that's a nice little column out there. Uh, I can definitely see you're building some more areas out the back here. Is that a flag up there? Hopefully I'm not ruining anything with showing this off, but there seems to be someone claiming something up here. Oh, oh the Italians. Oh, what, why, is, why is Aussie in here? <laughs> What's going on? Oh. Right, okay, so this is a little diorama that someone set up then, where I guess they've claimed ownership to this... I'm not going to ruin that, but Wobbex and Bubbex have now taken over this mountain range. Right, that's a cool little Easter egg. Uh, speaking of Easter eggs, we're filming this like for Easter, so I, I was expecting maybe some massive eggs laying around, but I wasn't entirely sure. There may have been more Easter eggs that I've missed throughout the first part of this tour, so I do apologise, guys. But yeah, should we take a quick look inside and see what's going on? Ooh, very dark in here. Let's quickly get some lights on the go. Um, lovely chairs, big chairs, very large chairs. And not just that, you've got a pulpit up here. And you seem to have detailed everything. <laughs> and, oh god, I, I, I knew this was somewhat coming. Um, take a look at who's on the crucifix up here. So, I have been strung up for my sins, and now I'm being hung above a church in the Scandinavian lands. 
Oh man, this is really cool. I like how you've used everyone's heads. We've got Dweebs, Goose, MS Builds, uh, we got Lanwan, Ozzy, uh, Lord Goblin. Who have we got over here? Another Goblin's head and also Duncan's as well. Ah, oh, this is great stuff, Rusty. Really, really love that. And yeah, that area is lovely down at the altar. Great, great stuff indeed. <laughs> nice little pictures around the place. Everything about it is great. So that has been the church and Stenvik. Uh, we'll come back here next month and see what else has been happening with the lovely Norwegian area. So now it's time to jump on over to Oostend and see what Aussie has been up to over there. As I like to do with this now, I'm going to show you on the map where it is. So if we come all the way around to this coast here, one day I'll fill this out so you can see the entirety of the world. And we come over here to Oostend. So let's teleport over there and see what's been happening. All right, so I've arrived here at Oost End, uh, Oost End, East End, something like that. Uh, sorry, Ozzy. Um, and what we've got going on here, uh, it's taken my attention straight away, is this diagonal tram. Uh, kudos for even attempting to do that. That is incredible. Yes, diagonal vehicles always look a bit odd because even if you look at it from any angle, it's still going to look like it's jutting out in random places. But you've you've done a good job there with that one. Uh, love these little tram tracks. So this is what I was attempting to do in Hearst Castle, but I went, ah, I'm just going to use anvils instead. I think what you've done here is, yeah, you've gone through and used the debug stick on these stairs to get that nice little detail in there to give it that sort of curving arch rather than being very jagged and all over the place. So what we've come down to here in Oostend is the Venetian Gallery, and this is an area that is used by the royalty of uh, of the sort of Belgium lands. And they come here and they put on all sorts of stuff, like little dinners, galas, and that. And what we've got going on is it sits over here and looks out towards the lovely, lovely North Sea. And what is really nice is just this beautiful neoclassical building. But I really enjoy this bit over here. So this is like an embankment, uh, and you go into and you would go into here and you can stand on the roof and look out at sea. So what you can't see over there is across the lands, like north of here is White Sea Island, that you're being built by Dweebs and, and Sir Lancelot. And I don't think you'll be able to see Hearst Castle from here, but if your render distance was all the way up, you could see the, uh, the sort of southern side of White Sea Island. So the whole world is interconnected. But this is really nice, this lovely big embankment coming up to here. The way you've done the tiles on the floor is really nice. You've got jungle alternating between up and down, and I think that's the same down here as well for the entire promenade. I really like the orange colour it gives. Aussie, that is a great. So we've got a few other things to look at in here. Uh, if we come over this way and fly into town, we're going to start seeing these eclectic styled uh, townhouses. Now, Aussie is known for his ability to use all sorts of random blocks in order to generate nice looking townhouses. So if we come over to here where he's built a 45 degree uh, statue of, yeah, the German cousin of Wobex and Bubex, we have these townhouses that have been built without using signs. So signs are the typical way of detailing these sort of uh, lines, as you can see there, loads and loads and signs. But when you move away from signs, they disappear. So you end up looking at a building that doesn't have any detail on it. When it comes to these ones, he's using fence gates here, which obviously don't disappear when you fly back. I think they just stick until the building disappears in the distance. Uh, but what you've probably also noticed is this building right here. Now, Endstone is a block that is very controversial with builders and myself alike. I'm not a fan of it. Don't like the colour, don't like the texture, but you've really taken it upon yourself here, Aussie, to use end stone ender portals and the warped woods to give you this building that actually works now when i first saw this in the share your builds on discord i was amazed because i didn't know how you did this like i didn't know you could even use ender portals to generate like a wall but when you step back you can't see that gap above it it looks like it's all part of the same design so if you guys ever want to use ender portals and end stone that's kind of the townhouse design you can go for now there's just lots going on in new stand he has done all of these gardens around the back. Oh, Aussie, you know me and gardens, and more greenhouses than they could shake a stick at. And it got sun coming into these ones as well, so they're actually getting some nice little sunshine. A decked area up here with all sorts going on. Ah, uh, gardens just make a build. You, you got all that space behind the building, don't ever leave it blank. Build some gardens, build a little courtyard like that, put some trees in there, give it life. That's how you build a town and make it work. What we got going on here? A little garage for stuff. We've got this big open area. 
Uh, we've got some people just hanging around. Is that Carter? Okay, yeah. Um, a little bit of washing on the line. Yeah, those are little cool details. You can see how much time and effort you put into this, Aussie. This is great. Ooh, what's this? A little, little orangery. Is this going to open up into something? A house made of hay bales. Interesting. I'm going to leave that door open. And I'm not going to look into those chests. Oh, apparently I am. Okay, right. Let's move on from Ustend. We've got some other stuff to go see back over in Kalmar. I think Hotkey has been quite busy over there. Right, so you find me over here in Pelham. I'm standing outside the front of the palace that we saw last time, or a couple of months ago now. This lovely, lovely Baroque palace is starting to have the interior done in it now. So Hockey's come in here and he's added in some rooms. I'm thinking it was this door over here? I, yeah, I think it was. So Baroque is quite extravagant, quite detailed with stuff. Is it this way? No. I'm going to have to try and find my way around these rooms. But this is a nice area. You've done loads of details on the walls. Ah, this was it. So we come through here. Go down this way and look into this room. I love what you've done with the floor and the details on the walls. Now, you've also got these, I'm guessing they're just candlesticks, like candelabras, lining the, the walkway through here. What you have got are some epic views through these little windows here of the rest of Pelham. Uh, and you can see the huge church there as well. Oh, that looks really good. I, you can see why this is for royalty. Uh, I did see a little door up here which I think just came up to this little walkway area there and if we carry on through here you can see that things aren't aren't as progressed in this area no there's planning's definitely uh, there needs to be a base put onto that uh, but I think if we go over the other side as well we can see a bit more of what's going on with this area so we come through into here and we get to a small little waiting room <laughs> I thought so when I first came through this door and I was doing like a little pre-tour I went oh okay transported into like 1930s or something but no, this is quite a nice little modern room you kind of forget that it is 1912 on our server so things still are a bit more modern than they would look in the uh, baroque period now speaking of baroque rooms this is exactly what you expect when you see one the lovely checkerboard floor so walking through here this is the room of uh, statues again all being used using with the debug stick to give you those nice little details there uh, but lovely views throughout windows and stuff again and I'm guessing this area hasn't been completed yet hockey lovely stuff for your rooms I'm really happy that people are starting to do interiors now yes there is a running joke that obviously we don't do interiors on the server but we actually do it's just not for every building because Nobody has time for that. So we've got some more stuff to see in, in the outskirts of Pelham. So let's have a quick look at this map. We've got some buildings over in this area, which have been done up in a nice sort of neo-baroque style. So these are a bit more modern. And ah, oh, my eyes. Okay. <laughs> I don't think the road's meant to be that white. Oh, ooh, I'm a little bit blinded. I apologize for screaming there. Um, still, this is really nice. You've got this huge pineapple on top that has been described as. Uh, I love how diagonal it is. Not a single side of this building is straight or flat. Uh, and it's got a proper neo-baroque style to it. I'm pretty sure you said that was from Stockholm somewhere, so a great little recreation there as well. And we've got these more sort of sections of it as it goes on from the back with these oral windows. And you've got a different change up of material at the back there. Mm. And the roof, very detailed, very nice. And we've got some more along here, which I'm guessing would be part of the uh, basin for, um, uh, yeah, probably the harbour or something like that. I, I was looking at this wall as well going, ooh, take note on that one. I love details like this where you've got a bit of mud put on the seawall where it's just been used over and over again. Uh, this building obviously isn't finished yet, but I thought I'd just quickly show that one off. Really love the detail, the copper blending into sort of a darker, worn look on the... Uh, on the drain pipes there great stuff indeed hockey lovely lovely builds in town now you've also said if we head on out of town towards where those villas were last time we can see a bit more what you've done there so let's hop skip and jump over to that and see what's been going on here so if we take a look around these villas you've done the gardens for them as well i think this is where we were last time yeah because this is the little the little swing swung that i sat in and everyone was like are you okay do you, do you know English? And I was like, oh, that's probably just something my nan used to call it. <laughs> uh, but if we move on through here, we can see some more little gardens that they've been working on. Uh, Hockey has been trialling out some trees. So we've got this cherry blossom here, which is made up of blocks that don't really resemble trees, but at a distance, oh, oh, it works. At a distance, it zooms in to make sure we can see it exactly as it was when we were standing over here. Uh, yeah, lovely little details again. I really like what you've done with this area because the whole thing feels very high class. We've got these lovely 
oh, more sort of cherry blossom bushes. Even going with, ooh, that's cool. That's really cool. The way you've made the scotch pine. I keep saying scotch pine. It's a Scots pine. Scots. Scots pine. Uh, the way it looks like it's got some sort of bark missing on it as well is rather, rather nice. Uh, you've got these little areas under here. Yeah, cute little details like these really help make a build. Uh, big pond there. So when you're, when you're, this area is finished, you're really going to have the proper luxurious side of Pelham here. People will be having probably townhouses over in the town but they will come back here and live in their villas. So we've got one more town to go look at, and that is the town of Breslau, which I think is based on sort of the Czech Republic mixed with Prague. We showed it off last time, but if we look at the map here, you can see in relation to Swedish's other town, which is behind this area here, you can't see. If we go on all the way down here to the other side of the Schloss Linderhof into the base of Germany, we have Breslau. So let's go take a look at what he's been up to over here. Okay, so I've teleported over here to Breslau, and you can see I'm back on this bridge that we were at last time. So if we take a quick look at the map, we can kind of see what's going on. This is the old town, and then this is the new town. Uh, and we've got a few little buildings to have a look at along the river, namely this cathedral over here. So let's go take a stroll down the river and see what's going on. But before we do that, I have these new townhouses, I believe. Although I'm picturing I saw these last time, I'm not entirely sure flashback probably the yeah but if, let's carry on down this way we'll come back to the old town in a second and let's see this lovely cathedral so the swedish always goes for this sort of darker brick i remember him doing some stuff in uh, kalmar in in his town of Karlsland about that as well i think it was the museum but i like the way this works you've got the really heavy roof the strong dark details in there a nice big clock in the center using oh gilded blackstone mm very tasty indeed and a really spiky tower which is great when it's paired with a second spiky tower you you do know the words for those don't you they're, they're called spires i don't know why yeah I'm, I'm talking to myself guys don't listen to me anymore use the real words uh yes yeah, so these lovely spires here which i think are great so you can see lots of terraforming going on now people are making comments about terraforming on the server because they are starting to see more and more what we do in a bit more personal detail especially when it came to Hearst Castle. So the way you do gradients is by putting loads and loads of layers down of different types of materials and then either having it as a place block where you would have a, a different colored wall for each layer and then you would go through and add a texture in, slowly going from darker to lighter, maybe back to dark as well. All depends on what sort of area you want, whether it's mud, whether it's sand. But, but yeah, this, this cathedral is really nice, and I can't wait to see what happens with the rest of this area. It seems to be like a nice little park that will have, as you can see on the map, it have the river going around, bending off in both directions for that. So if we take a look over here at this, this is back into the old town, and he's added a few new townhouses here. I mean, this is beautiful. I wonder if this is like a little chapel or something, because I love a pediment on it like that, and then you've got this lovely large dome on it and i'm guessing the rest of the building isn't finished just yet so can't wait to see that and i'm wondering if there's anything new over in the new town i think there was some more townhouses although planning seems to be up in the air still uh, but until then i think we should come back next month and see what carlsland and see how breslau carries on so yeah guys thank you all for watching I hope you've enjoyed this somewhat whistle stop tour of uh, the server over the last month. As you can see, there has been loads going on, and we've got tons more planned for the future. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this new semi-new format, where I've got the map on the go as well. I think this is a better way of showing you guys what's happening where. So, until next time, remember, get inspired, get building, and I'll see you next time.